Hey everybody, this is Jirikos, and welcome back to Odin Sphere Lifthrasir. We have been playing as Cornelius, the poor prince of Titania, cursed to live in the body of a puka. And we managed to impress Odin by beating up Brigan, which, if I'm gonna be honest, was kind of fun. That guy's a jerk. I say, let's see what chapter three holds for our poor cursed prince. Oh, we're back in Titania. Hello. The once honorable King Edmund was once the savior of the land, but he has waned in recent years. Criminals and sorcerers now roam the streets as if they own the city. That does not seem like a good thing. I saw Prince Cornelius walking down the street. They say that the prince has been spending time in the bad part of town. It's as if he's a new man. People have seen me? That's ludicrous. Is someone pretending to be me? Oh. Hmm. The plot thickens. Oh, hello. Welcome to Titania. I haven't been too profitable lately, but take a look. Anything of interest to buy? No. Nothing really. Another merchant. Take a peek at my wares before someone steals your money pouch. Apparently this is not a happy place to be right now. Hmm, tempting to get an egg. Yeah, I'm gonna get an egg and I'm gonna store some stuff in the item box. Let's see. Let's store these shines. And I should use my overloads and a bunch of these things. Um store my accessories that I'm not wearing. Yeah, that seems good. Where are we headed now? To the Forest of Elret. Hmm. What might we encounter here? Oh, back in the throne room. I managed to sneak in, but how will I be able to speak with my father? Someone's coming. I'll hide behind a pillar. That little fiend. He plans to renege on our deal. That's me! What's going on? I suppose I will have to be harsh if it comes to that. Otherwise, we deceive the prince for nothing. So he's behind all this. I shall cut him down. Cornelius! <laughs> Here you are, Cornelius. Have you reached a decision? Yes, of course, Father. As you asked, I will break up with the girl from the forest. What? Very good. Now, go and tell her before you change your mind. Out of political expedience, I have been considering a marriage between you and King Odin's daughter. As you wish, Father. Pardon my impoliteness, but I would like to ask you something in return. What is it? The royal family's secret power. No such thing exists. Go on, leave. Stop wasting time. <laughs> now, how did he find out about our secret power? Father! Who are you? Please listen to me. I am your son, Cornelius. The true prince of Titania. That man was an imposter. Are you some sort of jester? Do not ridicule me, beast. I have changed since we last spoke. I said I would abdicate my position. 
How do you know that? I am your true son. Father, you must believe me. No, you can't be. What are you saying? What? Wait! How did you get that sword? It was given to me. A terrifying voice in the netherworld told me that it belongs to Titanian royalty. I would never mistake that blood-smeared sword. In the netherworld? Oh, no, it can't be! Guards! Guards! Take that cursed sword and get it away from me! Father, what is wrong? You lie, whoever you are. Father, please! I swear by the heavens that I am Cornelius! Ask me anything about myself, I'll prove it! I can answer any question. Throw him out! Now! Immediately! Father! Well, that went about as well as I expected. How shameful. I'm so alone. To be treated so by my own father. Is it useless to fight back, as the Queen of the Netherworld said? <sighs> no, I cannot give in. I love the princess too much to let that happen. That imposter said that he was on his way to see Princess Velvet. He must be in Elrit Forest. Let's go find her before that imposter can do something horrible. Into the forest we go. Pursue the traitor and find clues about the counteroffensive. So we're here in the forest and... Level 9, I think we can handle this. Okay, I love as they died the little, like, dagger falling off to the side. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh wait, I have a new ability, don't I? Uh, Plasma Circle. Let's assign that to down. Ooh! Not what I was expecting, and I like it. I will definitely be using that. Good for crowd control. Eh, get ourselves a seed. No big deal. Let's see. Only one way to go here. I've always thought this forest was super pretty. Just very peaceful. Okay, little bears. Ooh, wait a second, how much did that cost? Oh, it cost 11. Alright, so it was just that I was low, it's not that it cost all of my PP. That it? No more? Cool. Ooh, another text. Is this a recipe? Churros! Just an egg. You know, it's odd that we haven't encountered Mori yet. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to as Cornelius. And, oh. Oh, we're definitely learning a new ability. Give me something good. Now, please. Aha! Took care of the nest. I definitely feel like those guys would be good. Very annoying if I just let them be. Uh, no pun intended. Man, he just does crazy air combos. Get all the Fozons. I did. Oh, 1400. Come on, give me something cool. This is. Seriously, I love the little carrot symbol. Thundercloud. Costs 18, summons a Cumulonimbus, which will generate lightning for a time. That sounds fun. Basically, summon a thunderstorm to attack your enemies. Oh, and lightning frequency up is the next level up. 
Okay. Does not seem to have something. Oh, here we go. Manticore is defeated. Hmm. I'll remember that. Oh, and I got another egg just for free. Um, let's go up first. Oh, hello. Where'd the other guy go? Hey, come here, come here. Now, let's go explore this little offshoot. Hi! You're mine. Mulberry seed. Let's see, what are these? These are just... Pomegranate. You know what? I got two items on the floor. Let's... Where is it? Let's use juggler. See what happens. Got a cyclone and money. Okay. Eh, yeah, net positive. And... There was a bunch of things out here that might have been better to use it on. Oh well. I don't mind. Uh, let's see. Let's grow a couple of these. And... Yeah! Why not? Add my own to the mix. Get them all matured as fast as possible. Because might as well eat some and... Yeah! Perfect. Did I... Yep, fully cultivated everything. Let's buy an area map from you, I bet. Oops. No, I want to hear what you said. Hey, are you a customer? Well, that's rare. Uh, don't mind me. Go on, buy a... <laughs> well, area map, absolutely worth buying every single time. It's neat how the game handles these areas, so, you know, we can revisit them with a different character, but still get a different experience. And yes, by Pot a Few. Again, I'm sure I butchered that name. Turney, Caratier, and Chicken. Slightly complicated recipe. Cool. And let's see, what else do you have to sell? Hi. Well, bye. Do, do, do. Hot cross buns. You know what? I'll buy one of those because I'm sure I'll need it for a recipe. Now. Oh! Yay! It's Murray time. Hello, Murray. I am ready to eat. Oh my! A fellow traveler! After a long journey, do you not crave a warm feast? Please stay a while and enjoy a meal. I see you have a new recipe. Please, allow me. And we got a couple Damn recipes it. added. What do you want to order? So, let's see. Um... Uh... Muggle confit, churros, and omelet. Um, well, you know what? Omelet has the biggest. Ooh, but that gets HP. Let's do churro, because I haven't done one of those before. And then we'll do an omelet after that. Leave it to me. Well, I guess we did a churro in the restaurant, but Mari hasn't cooked one yet. Yay, level up. Will that be all? Absolutely do an omelet. And I just realized we've definitely done three omelets with Gwendolyn, because that's how we got cheese omelet. But he's getting bonus. Will that be all? So I guess it's you get three bonuses per character. Well, let's definitely do some muggle confit. I got three of those. Let's just go through that real quick and get a few levels. Uh, okay, else? well, maybe we'll only get one level because it's only worth 230 Very experience. Well. But that's okay. Every bit adds up. Is there anything else? Yes, yes, yes. Give As me more, more muggle confit. 
Now I'm very full. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy two more eggs because the guy sold them. And let's do the full bonus with the churros. Hey, all right. Because, I mean, I got the money. What else am I gonna use it for, huh? Hey, Mori, cook me up some more delicious churros. I get why, but it's a little sad I can't just say, you know, use all these ingredients all at once. But, you know, it's a process. You've gotta savor and enjoy the food. Oh yeah, let's hit level 15. Very well. Mori is just so adorable. I have prepared a new menu. Oh. Give it a try. Chocolate churro. Pure cacao and egg. Nice. Is there anything else you want to order? Well, I'm definitely glad that I, you know, ate three churros. Oh, and look at how dang. Man, if only I had some pure cacao. Sadly, I don't think that's available to us at this I point of his story. Alright. We got full map. We are completely explored up there. Well, let's journey on. Mid-boss. Oh, yeah. This is just slightly overpowered with the spiral around. Hit him as hard as we can. Come on, Petey Piranha. You can't don't stand a chance with us. This is just kind of unfair. <laughs> oh man, we knocked his head off again. I love this, you know, lightning balls circling around us thing. Almost got him. Almost got him. And we didn't take a hit that battle. That was beautiful. What rewards do we have? A couple shines. <laughs> Not that we're dealing with, you know, undead enemies, but... Oh! Well, here's a cause for using shines. Might as well light it up. I, you know, forgot. It's not just undead, it's also darkness that we have to deal with with shines. Goblins, get out of my way. There's some more over here, weren't there? Yes. Come on. Oh, big one. Come on, keep the combo going, because I really want to get an S rank in here. I know I probably should have used that earlier to get more use out of it, but I got two of these harder goblins surrounding me. Yes! S rank. S rank. Oh, Poor Mori's poisoned. Ooh, ooh, pouch upgrade. Pouch head! I like that you get, you know, several different pouches and some of them are worth more than others kind of makes sense that each progressive one you get is a little better than the previous one. Uh -uh. Nope, you don't get to run away. Battle. Hello, little bears. Goodbye, little bears. We get more money, more seeds, and yeah, we're good. It's a neat concept having dark rooms that you can't really see the mini-map. It forces you to think a little bit more on your feet. Is that it for... Oh yeah, it's just the transition room. Battle stage again. Come on, and go away. I should try to keep an eye when the names appear to see what those stronger goblins are called. Because I'm mildly curious. Maybe they're hobgoblins. Although, 
none of them are really posing that much of a problem to me. Well, I'll take that. Ooh, recipe or alchemy? No, neither. The Law of Titania. Those who do business on King's Main Street shall be fined. Those who do business without express permission from the king shall also be fined. Those who do not pay the tax shall be executed by hanging. Ooh. Those who complain of high taxes shall be subject to flogging in the stocks. Those who discriminate, discriminate against magi shall be subject to the stocks. Those who cause, blo cause bloodshed shall be executed on the spot or by hanging. King Edmund was initially welcomed by the people as the heir to the legacy of the wise previous ruler. When he began imposing harsh laws and taxation policies, however, public favor turned foul. No kidding, that's some oppressive rulership right there. Not... Not good. Bad form, dude. Oop. I love the look of the Habaneristos in particular. Now we're fighting... Oh, more Grizzlies! Here we go. Check them out. Yeah, we got a few over here. Oh, you know what? I haven't used this since uh, a couple rooms ago. I can't decide... Oh, Grizzly and Teddy! Teddy must be the stronger version here. I can't yet decide who I like more. Oh, Cornelius or Gwendolyn's fighting style. I got more used to hers, because we played for her longer, but I'm starting to get the hang of his, too. Um, uh, let's explore this side room. He's hanging out over here. Uh, I gotta remember his downstab. Eh, probably more useful on big enemies. Alright, we good here? Yeah, let's move over. Head west. Ooh. Oh, yogurt. Nice. Good for next time we're doing a little bit of cooking. Give me the money. All the money. I I'm not greedy, I swear. Now, are we completely done here? This is a cool-looking transition room. Uh, another restroom. Yes, I just realized how that sounded. Uh, 16. Hmm. Let's grow some grapes. Yeah. Might as well. Is it enough to get these all blooming? I accidentally reabsorbed a bunch of them instead of letting them go to the plants. Oh, and also I just realized I have not tried out Thundercloud. Hmm. Let's set that to up and I'll try it out in a coming room. Got a bunch of grapes there. Hi! Cut it out! I'm an innocent bystander. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> innocent my ass. All right, ooh, Vampiric Ring. We are absolutely buying that. Wait, 0.4 HP? Hmm. I feel like Gwendolyn's was higher, but maybe I'm remembering the Vampiric plus one. So let's see. Well, damage dealt and taken up is a good thing. Um, Yeah, let's swap this out. Store some stuff, like... Toss these bones in and some of the low-end materials. And we can get rid of the Power Stone and the Ancient Crystal. Yeah, I don't need it. I'll eat some stuff in a bit. I don't really need to right now, but... Oh, what's... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to jump. What's up here? Anything of interest? Doesn't seem so. We got Mori again. 
I don't think we have anything new we can cook with our ingredients we got, but let's check with him anyway. And if only I had some cacao. I like Mori's little musical theme. I thought it was time that you'd call on me. Now then. I mean, we just hung out with you. Oh, ooh, yogurt mousse. 2100 experience. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. And hey, it'll top off our HP too. Yes. Chow down there, Cornelius. Forgot your name for a split second. Is there anything else you want to order? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Let's look at the map. How are we doing? Don't have a whole lot to go through here. Let's take a quick moment and just eat some food too. I wonder if this will be enough to get us another level up. Rotten Muggle. You know what? Sure. I got a lot of this food. Let's eat it all. Ooh, and I just had a thought. This will leave us grape stems. Let's get those and the bones out and do a juggler. Just see what interesting things we get. Hey, level 18. Ooh, I should definitely look at his skills, too. There's so many interesting ways you can, like, power up your character. I find it fascinating. Ugh, but once again... Every episode I do of this game, it makes me hungry. What's this? Money. Uh, okay, come back here to the box. Let's get those bones and one material one. So, we need to make a juggler. Yep, we just use a single bone. Now, let's drop these, and you know what, let's drop one of each of these, because I'm just mildly curious what it's all going to turn into. Perfect, all on the ground, use the juggler, got some money, haha, <laughs> more food, nice, well, why not? It's not a ton of experience, but it's better than the bones and grape stems were, so. And it's gonna be enough to get us a level up. No, wait, one shot? No, we did it, we did it. I was gonna say, one shy? So let's look at our skills and our abilities. We got nine ability points. Definitely can get a discount on shop items. see what's below here uh no don't need to worry about that yet mm, those are tempting but i don't have the abilities let's do recovery up seems useful and what was below it um hmm nah I think, sure, here, after eating food, next attack gets buffed. Energetic. And... Plasma Circle. We are 100% upgrading this. Because it is such a good one. And I just realized, I don't think I've upgraded his, like, core central one. Have I? No. Become sharper as it absorbs phosons adrift on the battlefield. Well, let's do it. Absorb that. Not absorb that. Upgrade that. And depending how much it costs, 55. Heck yeah, let's do it again. Make him just more powerful all around. Okay, can't do it a third time. Let's get this. Yeah, we leveled everything else at least up to two. We'll try out Thundercloud next time. Oh, yeah. Much more powerful. Hey, Mori. I'll hang with you here. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to journey further into the forest and hopefully stop this imposter 
from, I don't know, ruining things with Velvet. I was so curious about Cornelius and Velvet together. But I presume we'll find out more about that next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>